Colon cancer is ex extremely common. Uh, uh, it, it's best understood when you relate the, the risk of colon cancer to, to yourself. And every American uh, with, with no family history has a 1 in 17 chance of developing colon cancer in their lifetime. So about 6% of all Americans will develop colon cancer. It's the second most common cancer overall and uh, in the United States and the second most common cause of cancer mortality. Uh, it's equal uh, in risk for both men and women. Uh, we took 140 patients with cancers throughout the digestive tract, uh, throat cancer, esophagus, stomach, pancreatic, uh, bile duct, gallbladder, small bowel cancers in addition to colon. And uh, the bottom line was uh, the majority, the large majority, were uh, accurately detected with a, a stool DNA test. Uh, we also present data at this, at this meeting showing that not only can we detect the cancers, but each of these cancers by sight have a, have a molecular signature that uh, uh, tells us potentially where they're coming from. So uh, we can predict the anatomic site uh, of these tumors as well. So, you know, wh what does that mean? In the future, uh, when a clinician screens their patient with a test like this and the test is positive, rather than doing kind of a shotgun evaluating the entire GI tract at random, they will be able to individualize or personalize the evaluation by directing the diagnostic evaluation to the site most likely to harbor the lesion. It's surprising that in our society uh, where we screen some cancers, uh, we don't screen other cancers that also have, our, have the same sort of benefit with early detection. Uh, and that applies to all of the cancers above the colon, which are quite common, uh, <coughs> including oral cavity, uh, cancers, esophagus, stomach, pancreatic, bile duct, and small bowel cancers. Those are uh, highly fatal cancers uh, when they present with symptoms. Uh, and we don't screen them at the population level. Uh, with stool DNA testing, it potentially pioneers a non-invasive screening approach to cancers above the colon. Uh, collectively, digestive cancers account for one out of every four cancer deaths. And a single, a conveniently singular, non-invasive stool test has the potential to screen all of them in one setting. Bowel preparation for colonoscopy or barium x-ray is a real disincentive for patients. There's no uh, need necessarily to go see the physician. Uh, you can mail in a specimen uh, and continue your work, uh, so it's not, it's not so disruptive. Um, it's less expensive, and in this era of uh, resource scarcity, it's, uh, it makes uh, cost-effectiveness sense. Each year, we observe more than 150,000 deaths in the United States from a digestive tract cancer. Without effective screening, uh, it's gonna be hard to have an impact on that. So yes, it would be our goal if additional research showed that we can in fact detect these cancers with this inexpensive approach uh, that we would apply it to the general population and, and we could apply it as we do with mammography at the time of a general examination, but it would be important to reach out to those individuals who are not in the healthcare setting, uh, grocery store kiosks, uh, uh, community uh, education campaigns, uh, as we've done with mammography and other screening approaches. So, you know, unless you target the broad population, you don't have the highest impact on cancer mortality.